Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with what I think is going to be a very cool quilt block and easy also. Great way to use up some five inch squares and two inch squares. Two inch squares by far my favorite thing to cut and these are very popular sizes in the things that I sell during my exclusive sales. Hey, subscribe if you like this video. If you don't like the video, still subscribe. You might like the next one. Here's the deal. I'm going to take a picture of the block that I make. I haven't made one yet. And then I'm going to try to put it together at the end of this video. You can see what it would look like using these fabrics. Of course, you can make this scrappy uh, or you can make it, you know, like all just one print. I think it would be cool, um, you know, if like I were to make a quilt to use all this nice little pink with stars. And remember this? I made a quilt using this. It was uh, wonky floating stars or something. And it's going to be something like this, but there's going to be black here, here, and then another strip of this here. You'll see. We'll get there. And um, you can do it any way you want, but I'll be using just this one block for the picture at the end. Here's the deal. Five inch block. Let's start with this. And a one inch strip of whatever you want. I chose black. I didn't cut my strip yet. I'm going to go put a strip here and here, and then I'll be right back. Now I have this. For the next piece, I'm going to be adding this and this, and then some more black on top and on this side. So I'm going to go ahead at this point, and I'm just going to create a little strip set like that. I'm just going to sew the black onto here right there. If you didn't want to do the strip set like this, then you actually only need like five and a half inch pieces. I would definitely go with six inch so that you have some wiggle room and you can trim. So here's our block. I'm going to show it to you this way. I'm going to put a strip here first. Now I can go ahead and, you know, roughly cut that. So I don't have to bring the whole thing with me. Don't overthink your prints. I just felt like doing something with pink and black and then since the stars were gold I just went with this golden kind of celestial looking print. Now all I have to do is trim this. Now we are going to want to put a strip here. Whoops, like that. But we also want this little guy in the corner. So let me just trim this here. Actually, there's a little curve there. I'm going to get rid of that curve. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to sew this to this first. Now I'm going to go ahead and sew this here. Just going to try to match that intersection right there. The, this uh, little corner and the big square, little square. Like that, right there. This is what we have. I just need to trim right here. This block, I just love it so much. I love the black and the pink and the gold. And let's say it's this way. So you would just make as many of these as you need. And I'm going to show you the pattern. I will have, the, I'll take a picture of this and I'll show you four of them. It would be one this way with the little square out and then the other one here at the diagonal with the little square out. And then these two guys, the square would be in. And like I said, I will show you a picture of what that would look like. Got some little threads here. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. There will be better instructions. Well, at least, you know, how many squares you need for the size quilt that I came up with for my exclusive shoppers. They're the ones who are part of my fabric sales. And I like to let them know a little bit more details. So... I'm going to show you the little slideshow right now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.